Okay, today we are going to study bacterial photosynthesis. If we talk about bacteria on the basis of mode of nutrition, the bacteria are grouped into two broad categories. The first one is autotropic bacteria and the second one is heterotropic bacteria. When we talk about bacterial photosynthesis, so which bacteria is responsible for photosynthesis? The, that one is autotropic bacteria. So we have to study about autotropic bacteria. This bacteria is able to synthesize their own food. They synthesize their own organic food from inorganic substances. This inorganic substances converted into organic compound. They utilize carbon dioxide to drive carbon. Carbon dioxide is what? It is a source of carbon and use H2, H2S or ammonia means NH3 as a source of hydrogen to reduce carbon. So they are called as autotrophic bacteria. What we have studied that autotrophic bacteria are able to synthesize their own food that utilizes carbon dioxide as a source of carbon and hydrogen H2S or ammonia as a source of hydrogen to reduce carbon. So they form organic compound. So on the basis of energy they derive, they are categorized into two different forms. The first one is photoautotrophic bacteria and the second one is chemoautotrophic bacteria. Photoautotrophic bacteria utilize light energy and chemoautotrophic bacteria utilize chemical energy. So we will study one by one. The first one is photoautotrophic bacteria. These bacteria possesses photosynthetic pigment in membrane bound lamellae that is called as thylakoid and utilize light energy to perform photosynthesis. So what it utilizes? Light energy and the process is called as photosynthesis. Okay. But here I just want to tell you that the bacterial photosynthesis is different from green plant photosynthesis. Why? Why it is different from green plant photosynthesis? Because in this case water is not utilized. Water is not utilized as hydrogen donor. And therefore, molecular oxygen is not liberated. So what happened? Molecular oxygen is not liberated. As in green plant photosynthesis, molecular oxygen is liberated from water. But here, it doesn't happen. So this process is called as N-oxygenic photosynthesis. N-oxygenic photosynthesis. That means without producing oxygen. There is green sulfur bacteria It utilizes the pigment. That pigment is called bacteroviridine. That is similar to chlorophyll 
and thrive well in illuminated environment. This bacteria produce chemical sulfur. The reaction here it is 6CO2 plus 12H2S. Here light energy is involved and it forms glucose that is 6 C6 H12O6 plus 12 sulfur molecule and 6 water molecule plus some amount of energy is also liberated. So this bacteria produces what? Chemical sulfur by removing hydrogen from hydrogen sulfide. Here another is purple sulfur bacteria. In purple sulfur bacteria, it contains the pigments that is called bacteriochlorophyll and carotenoids. These bacteria utilize inorganic sulfur compounds or selenium compounds or molecular hydrogen. As we see, equation 6 CO2 plus 15 water molecule plus 3 molecule of sodium thiosulfate. Again, light energy is involved because we are studying photoautotrophic bacteria. After that, glucose molecule forms plus 6 water molecule plus 6 NaHSO4 and energy. There is another purple non-sulfur bacteria. That possesses pigment bacteriochlorophyll and it accomplish photoreduction of carbon dioxide in presence of alcohol organic acids. The equation is 6 carbon dioxide molecule plus 12 molecule of propyl alcohol in the presence of light. Glucose is formed plus dimethyl ketone is formed water. So if we talk about green sulfur bacteria, these are chlorobium species and chlorosidomonas. If I am talking about purple sulfur bacteria, the example is thiospirulum species. And if we talk about purple non-sulfur bacteria, then the example are rhodospirulum species. Rhodocidomonas species. So, photoautotrophic bacteria means which bacteria utilizing light energy as a source for making their own food thrive well below the surface of lake and ponds where oxygen content is low. Where it is? Below the surface of lakes and ponds where oxygen content is low. And reduced sulfur or other compound is available are available. And if we talk about chemoautotrophic bacteria, they synthesize their own food with the help of chemical energy. Synthesize own food. There are various types of chemoautotrophic bacteria. Nitrifying bacteria. They are 
Nitrosomonas, Nitrobacter. They convert what? There is conversion of ammonia into nitrates and then nitrate into nitrite. Two ammonia molecule reacting with three molecules of oxygen form two molecule of HNO2 plus four proton two nitrate molecule plus 132 kilocalorie of energy and this reaction is performed by nitrosomonas bacter nitrosomonas bacteria and uh, another step is this nitrate is going to convert in nitrite and this is done by nitrobacter the second one is sulfur bacteria example is big iota it is a colorless sulfur bacteria which oxidizes hydrogen sulfide to water and sulfur the reaction is 2H2S molecule plus O2 there is oxidation of hydrogen sulfide and it forms two sulfur molecules this elemental sulfur is converted into sulfuric acid and energy this is done by thiobacillus denitrificans denitrifying sulfur bacteria there is some iron bacteria they convert ferrous iron to ferric iron they are gallionella species ferrobacillus what they perform they convert ferrous ions to ferric ion there is another hydrogen bacteria they utilize free molecular hydrogen and oxidize it into water means two hydrogen molecule plus one molecule of oxygen forms two water molecule plus energy that is in 56 kilocalorie energy carbon bacteria the source is what carbon here bacteria oxidized two carbon monoxide into two molecule of carbon dioxide this occur in bacillus oligocarbophilus another one is methane bacteria they utilize methane as a carbon source so the reaction is methane plus two oxygen molecule forms carbon dioxide and two water molecule plus energy so it completes bacterial photosynthesis.